What are we about to do? Yeah, we are. Listen to some Italian rock music. This is all we got, a backpack each. For Naples, Rome, Florence, Venice, Pas uh, Paris, and London. Oh, we're about to go. All right, beginning our adventure. X. Spirit Airlines, no thanks. Is that what that is? Yeah. London Heathrow Airport. Yeah, you gotta look to the right, you'll get hit by a car instead of looking left. It's a good idea to look both ways, no matter where you are.
Good morning, everybody. My name is Stephen Warner. It's my pleasure to be the senior cabin crew member on your flight this morning to Naples. A special welcome to those of you returning from our executive club and those of you joining from one of our One World Alliance partners. May I just gently remind you to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated and it must remain securely fastened whenever the pilots have the seatbelt sign on. If you open any of the overhead lockers, please take care as items may have moved during takeoff. Something could fall out and cause an injury. As a reminder, smoking, the use of electronic cigarettes and vaping is not permitted at any time whilst on board. This includes the toilets, which are fitted with smoke detectors. We are pleased to offer you Wi-Fi on this aircraft today. To connect, join the BA Wi-Fi network and visit shop.ba.com where you can discover the packages available. All phones should be placed to silent to avoid disturbing other customers. And please note that video and phone calls are not permitted at any time during this flight. In-seat power is now available within your seat area. Very shortly now, once the aircraft has leveled off and it is safe for us to do so, we will be starting our onboard service. For those of you who are seated in our Club Europe cabin, that's our business class cabin, off landing. He was going down and he pulled up hard. Hello everybody, it's Stephen speaking. Please don't be alarmed. Sometimes this happens where we have to go around once again. So please don't be alarmed. The pilots I'm sure will come back and tell us what, uh, what's going on very shortly. Thank you. When you pull up like that, when you're descending, that's a dust off. He had to change his mind for some reason. That was dramatic. Shake four, all kinds of cool stuff.
we had to pull up because there was a plane on the runway. <laughs> Are in Naples. Yamo. <laughs> Via Nalina. This is where our little dumpy hotel is going to be. Center of this little center. See, look, we could buy clothes. We don't need to look at we could buy socks. <laughs> so we're on a train. Taxi driver took us to our street name, but 18 miles short of our destination. So we found a train, and now we're going to the, hopefully to the right destination. Always an adventure. So there's Pompeii on the other side of that wall. And we're walking into the city center here. Our hotel's this away. Pretty quaint, I can tell already. I can also tell we're probably gonna leave a day early for Rome. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> I think like more than 80% is still covered. That keeps it safe till they figure out how to excavate it correctly. That's it right there. Let's go see what it looks like. It's not much on the outside. Wow. <laughs> she said, yeah, but she didn't. Uh... Got to do the camera. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Okay, do it right. Okay. Hola, okay, here we go. This is our room. This is nice. Oh, thanks. I want to explain you something? Yes. Ah, this is the garden. <laughs> it is the garden. Look at those lemons. Open this. So, see? If you want just this, mm -hmm. if you want just I, it's so, uh, okay, up. Oh, wow, interesting. Okay. Does, is there air conditioning? If you want to open this, you can open, okay. This is quaint. I like okay. it. Here, hello. Here, there is the air conditioning. Oh, turn that on, yeah. I open. Just this, few minutes is good. The, the yellow for open, the uh -huh. same for close it. Okay. Wi-Fi. This is the name of line. This is the password. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Television. Figure that out, Marco. Television. The bathroom is here. Bathroom, okay. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay. And so, can we drink the water out of the faucet? It's okay to drink? Safe? Yes. Drink? You can drink it? Do you want? Yeah. What you want? No, the water, aqua. Yes. It's okay to drink? Yes. Okay. What's your here? It's potable. Potable, Don't yes. Potable. Don't worry. Another question. Yes. You have one room without breakfast. Okay. Only room. Okay. Because we don't do breakfast for the question, COVID question. Okay. It's dangerous to stay many people here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Marco chilling on the patio, living large. By Mount Vesuvius. Pompeii, Naples. This is our view, this is our backyard. Lemon tree, lemon trees. Italy has some sweet lemons too. We should probably try and taste some. Those look like oranges over there. There's our bathroom. Patio to the bathroom. Patio to the bedroom. Birds are tweeting away. Nice. So here's our quaint little place. And then right here, literally next door, is a supermarket. And then right down, right about there, is a pizzeria. Oh, yeah. 
little quaint side, it's kind of a side street. I misjudged it at first thinking it was going to be a dud. <laughs> See, <laughs> all coming around, okay. <laughs> That's a wood bone, you know, that's the way to go. Look at that. Mmm. There's the wood, there's the burn, there's the pizza. Wood burning pizza. Bene. Bellissimo. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> no, no. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of the beer in there too. Oh my! <laughs> when you focus on me, and everything else will just come naturally. I did focus on you, but there's a big pizza. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice first dinner. Wait, wait. Let me record. Actually. Looks like dozens of beetles swarming around the old lemon tree. Pretty wild. About to have a nice little sunset over Pompeii. All right, breakfast, and then we're off to Pompeii. Italian cocoa crisp. <laughs> Those might have been wasps I was seeing last night, not beetles. This thing is huge. It's in our bathroom. <laughs> I think it's well over an inch long, maybe two inches. Not a huge amount. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to forget if I put a camera on the light mode, does that mean to make the picture lighter or does it mean the slide outside? So I don't know. Yeah, why don't you research it? I was still so mad at New York for my camera. Okay, one of my favorite stops in Pompeii, where Pink Floyd performed in the amphitheater. Guys, there's the original floor too, the original ground, obviously. And we're going to see this all, all over Rome. Look. Very, very cool. I would come just to hang out here for a little bit. inscriptions that you first saw on the way in your travertine slabs are the names of the constructors. The Roman amphitheater dates back to around 70 BC and a seating capacity of approximately 20,000 spectators. And let's not forget that Pink Floyd performed here. He did? Not he, them. It was used for gladiatorial battles. The construction was in the eastern zone. It was divided into three sections. Uh, what else is good? It had an or designed for an orderly flow of spectators, as you can see by the tunnels. Beneath, they have lower sections. They're accessible by four corridors, which we passed on the way in, letting in the entrance and the gladiators and the wild beasts and the chariots in both corridors. They also was used to excavate the injured and the dead <laughs> as they came out. And there was a mortuary in here for the dead. How convenient, how uh, thoughtful. The support poles, and you'll see this when we go to the Colosseum in Rome too, there's little holes and they probably had tarps to give the uh, spectators shades. They had big awnings and they had, uh, in 59 ID there was a violent riot and it broke out between the fans from Pompeii and from Syria, caused by the Roman Senate to decide the closing of the amphitheater for the next 10 years. It was revoked after the earthquake of 62 AD. And there we have it. One of my favorite spots in Pompeii. 
Theater is the coolest spot. <laughs> Me too. Well, until, wait till you see some of the uh, brothels, though, with the original paintings still, the murals. The original stalls, people would serve food from here. Yeah, sure is. That's the original paint. As cool as that is, just wait. Okay, this is Octavia's house. It's a good example of a luxury villa in this area. Look at the original painting. That always gets me. The original paint. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see the original frescoes. And there's a piece of a pillar. Look. That is too freaking cool. It's the original frescoes. He had a pool in here in the garden. Looks like maybe Mercury. So this whole area was his, it was Octavia's. He had his garden, he had a pool there in the middle. Back there was where the amphitheater was, we just were. The water would come out of the mouth right here. People come and drink. Oh yes, look it's a graphic of a ship. You see it? You see the ship? Yeah. Very cool. You don't see it? Here's the front. Goes to there. And there's the sail. And there. See these urns? These are really cool. You'll find these in the. This looks like where they used to grind the things. These are really interesting finds all over antiquity. You can find things in there and they can test it to see what oils and whatever they were using. Of course, vineyards. See, I didn't go to any of this spot when I was here last, so this is cool for me. But even the places I was, it would be cool to revisit. So here's our first uh, penis pointing the way to the brothel house that direction.
So the Romans were big on baths. We'll see some huge ones in Rome maybe if we go just a little out. You hear that, Kaz? They were kind of hollow. They were hollow and he poured sort of plaster caster in it. That's how he made these molds. And then, after the top of the composition, he left the space. Yeah, now space by the composition, the composition on the back. And then the method is very simple. By pouring the liquid plaster inside these cases to recreate a real picture of the essence shape of a body in the moment of so what you see here is this brothel. These are like menus. There's the stone bed, and these are like the menus of the sex of the uh, sex acts you could you could experience. And this is what the stone beds look like. See the different menu options, Marco. You could point just to get excited and see the menu. It's like a 69. Oh, I don't see my mo my faint. Wait for me. I want to get a picture of something else. Do it. Who cares? Well, yeah, it's worth checking. I think if anything, I. Model Hello. It's real time. This is what I wanted to be when I was a kid. That's when they said that only 25% is exposed. They're still doing it. Square. I think your mom and I missed this last time. I would remember this. There's Mount Vesuvius, the culprit. Oh, this is very cool, guys. I wonder if this is related to the myth of the Trojan horse, because there's a person in there. Still excavating. And all my travels, including all my times to Italy, I've never seen the little faces inside the sculptor thing. That's new for me. I gotta now I have to know what that's about.
Oh, wow. My baby, where? There was the staircase we couldn't find. <laughs> left, 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 left. Yeah, they did a lot of bronze work. Pretty much like all ancients and the Egypts and Egyptians and Yeah. Comes out of that wooden oven there. I'll take pictures. Little pizza here by the church before we go to the train station to Roma. Oh, back to studio. See, we went to Nap. We went to Pompeii. It was bene. So now we're going back to Napoli, on to Rome. This is a better train than we took. This is where the English see. They come and hang out on the beach here. They treat this a little bit like a beach resort. Little British tourist action. Well, they dived in. Well, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jeroboam. All right, here's from the main station, Napoli to Roma. Cost us about $150 for the three of us. It's about how much we paid for the easy jet from Venice to Paris. Be there in about an hour, 20 minutes from here. All righty.